Hello, today we are talking about the CVX OPTW, also known as the Passive Weekend Splitter or Weekend Optical Isolator. The CVX OPTW is used to electrically isolate Weekend signals. There are three primary applications for the CVX OPTW. The first application is connecting one reader to two access controllers. The second application is connecting two readers to one access control panel. And the third is connecting two Weekend devices that cannot otherwise be connected due to voltage differences or to the power supply incompatibilities. Here we have the CVX OPTW in its packaging. The product label shows the part number, the serial number, and the product UPC. Inside the packaging, you will find the CVX OPTW, the CVX OPTW Quick Start Guide, and the Cypress Warranty. Full documentation for the CVX OPTW can be found at cypressintegration.com. There are two headers on the CVX OPTW, the J1 input header and the J2 output header. Each header is its own circuit connected by opto isolators in the middle of the board. This is how the CVX OPTW isolates the Wigan signals. There are three pins on the J1 header, data zero in, ground, and data one in. The data zero in and data one in pins are open collector and accept Wigan signals of five to 24 volts DC. There are six pins on the J2 header. We have plus five volts DC, PR plus five volts, data zero out, PR plus five volts, data one out, and ground. The CVX OPTW needs to be powered with 5 volts DC in order to function properly. Connect your 5 volt power supply to the plus 5 volt DC and ground pins on the J2 header. Data 0 out and data 1 out are both Wigan output pins. They are normally pulled high to 5 volts but can be connected to other Wigan devices with voltage levels of 5 to 24 volts DC. It is important to remember that the state of the Wigan outputs is dependent on the state of the Wigan inputs. If there's no device connected to the Wigand inputs, then the state of the outputs will be at zero volts DC. The PR plus five volt pins are used in cases where the Wigand voltage is below five volts DC. These pins can be jumpered to the Wigand output lines to pull the voltage back up to five volts DC. This will only work if the Wigand voltage is operating at five volts DC. Now I will show you how to connect one Wigand reader to two Wigand access controllers using the CVX OPTW. So here are the overall parts of the system. We have one Wigand reader, the CVX OPTW, uh, access controller A and access controller B. For demonstration purposes, access controllers A and B are HID edge devices connected to AMT's web-based access control software. You can use this setup for the CVX OPTW or any Wigand access controllers. So first, I will connect the Wigand reader to the J1 header of the CVX OPTW. Okay, so here we have the Wigand reader connected to this J1 header of the CVX OPTW um, with data zero, ground, and data one. And we also have our 12 volt power supply powering the reader. Uh, so we have power going to the reader, and then we have our ground coming to our ground pin on the CVX OPTW to give us that common ground for the Wigand connection. Now this is important because without that, the Wigand data might not flow properly from the reader to the OPTW. So now I will connect controller A to the J1 header of the OPTW, and this will be in parallel with the Wigand reader on the J1 side. So I finished connecting controller A to the J1 header of the OPTW. So the controller A and the Wigand reader are in parallel with the J1 header. And next I'm gonna connect controller B and a five volt power supply to the J2 header of the OPTW. So now I've connected controller B and the, our five volt DC power supply to the J2 header of the OPTW. Uh, we have ground, data one and data zero, and then plus five volts from our power supply. So now the system's wired up and ready to go and we can start scanning some cards. Now I will demonstrate the system by presenting a card to the Wigan reader. Uh, the data will flow from the Wigan reader to the J1 header of the OPTW and then to the controller A, since that's in parallel, and then through the OPTW to controller B and then out to our access control software. So this card is number 9402617. So I'm scanning the card, let's read the card, and we should see it appear on our access control software over there. So that's how the Cypress Passive Wigan Splitter works. We also offer the Intelligent Wigan Splitter, the CVX OPTS. It is a data router that connects to one Wigan reader and two Wigan access controllers. It will route the data from the Wigan reader to the appropriate access controller. It is commonly used in multi-tenant applications. If you have any questions or need more information about the CVX OPTW or the CVX OPTS, you can call us at 810-245-2300 or visit our website at cypressintegration.com.